Hey everybody, so this is a really quick update on a major pain in the backside that me and thousands of other players have been experiencing when it comes to Steam in connection with Nova Play. Now those buggers, pardon my French, are actually all India. I am from India and they are the payment portal from India for Nova for Steam. There is no other payment portal option. You have other payment options, but no payment portal options. So they are the ones, they are like the intermediary between Steam and your bank. So basically what happens is, uh, people are trying to go in, they get stuck in the OTP page, that's what I'm stuck at. And you're unable to make a purchase because you got to type in the damn OTP and the OTP doesn't show up on the phone. So what do you do? Uh, basically, it's like they say, the simplest solution is the best. So what I did, I just go into my uh, messages, my SMS messages on the phone. I'm opening it manually. I'm not waiting for any pop-up because you won't get any pop-up. You go into your manual messages, all messages, and you look at them. You'll get a message from somebody called Bidu Money. That is B-I-D-U Money. And their SMS, you know, the SMS names that the first uh, SMS name starts with some funny thing. So they have QPYDD Tech, T E C. So you get a message from there, you automatically see that, dear user, and they give you a fancy set of numbers that is six numbers. No scam, no nothing. I've tried it just now. I've uh, gone into, let me show you my wallet real quick. Why is it taking so long? All right. So I go over here, you put it over here, and then you get the OTP page, and then the OTP is not showing up. That's because it's inside your SMS message role. It does not pop up. You go in there, you search for this uh, dear user. You'll just automatically see the thing, and you'll see numbers divided by curly dashes and other stuff. Each digit is divided by a symbol, like a curly digit. So you'll quickly be able to see a dear user dash, 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 dash is your one-time verification code. It'll expire in 10 minutes, dash, bidu money. So as soon as you see that, you type that in, that is your OTP, then you'll go to your page where you can use whatever option you have chosen, that is your Steam wallet, that is your payment wallet, or a debit card, or a credit card, domestic debit card, visa, whatever. So type it all in, the usual process you follow after that, you type it all in, it takes you to the bank page, the bank OTP pops up because that's your bank, and uh, that's it, you type your OTP for the bank in, the money gets debited from your account, it goes straight to your Steam thing here. So I'll show you that I just did this purchase after all these many weeks after missing the summer sale. I will never forgive you Steam for making me miss that summer sale. I had, so, you gave so many cool discounts and ever since June's summer sale, that is the end of June by the way, and all of July and now at the beginning of August, I finally found that this is the only way, the only option for this to work. They have not done anything to resolve the matter. They have not made it easier for anyone. Steam is not interested in talking to its uh, own uh, payment partner in India. They want us to go and talk to them. We want to go talk to them, but their form isn't working. So they're not interested in talking to us either. So you're not going to get any help from either of them. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing going on there. And there's no issues with uh, the news that you hear about India wanting to ban Steam. No such thing. They get a lot of money from Steam, a lot of revenue, a lot of tax revenue. So don't worry about that. There's no gambling here. There's no addictive thing. I mean, all games are addictive in a way. So it's like, it's not like they're going to ban everything. It's just an excuse to get rid of the stuff that people actually lose money over. And then they have to, you know, take their life or do some kind of bad stuff. And that's the whole reason why the government is cracking down on those kinds of gambling sites. But there's no gambling here. So this is what's happening. You go into your SMS, you find the Bidu money thing, the Q, the QTech thing, and you'll see the numbers divided by things, uh, by small, small symbols, like small uh, curly dashes and other dashes. And you just type that in. You go to your payment page, uh, fill in the details. You go to your bank page, OTP pops up, type it in. That's it, your money gets uh, done here. So if you see my purchase history, Both of them have just been done on the 1st of August, a few minutes before this recording. So I checked this, worried I was going to lose this too. Anyway, let's see. 
and before this i mean they refresh this page so you won't be able to have seen so many error messages i think since june i've been trying i think i would have i would have racked up at least 70 plus attempts to try and pay something to get this money in my wallet yeah i'm sure more than 70 plus i'm sure almost every other day and then i got bored then me and steam broke up for a while i went to epic games <laughs> And now I've come back here and I'm downloading Warframe. Destiny 2. You can carry it over from Epic Games if you have the account and all registered properly. You can buy the DLCs now from here and play this game. Finally, I can also pay for my Dota 2 subscription and finally play it here. And things like that. So yeah, good luck to all of you. Let me know how it goes. Do not, uh, if you get some other kind of an SMS, be very careful. Just follow the video as I've told you. I've mentioned exactly what I got. I took the risk and it worked for me. So if you get anything different from what I'm, uh, I've suggested in this video, do not come back and bite me on the backside, man. Come on, come on, be a sport and just do what you need to do. Do it right. I took a risk here and it worked for me. This is how you do it. And I do not know. I just hope that whatever Nova Play is doing, that our information is safe because all of us have used Nova Play as long as we are in India and our information is there with them. And I hope all our information is safe and this is not some kind of a DDoS attack on their servers that has caused them to create this sudden problem for all of us. Anyway. Good luck to everybody and enjoy gaming. Steam is still the best, so I love you, Steam. But every now and again, you get on my nerves. But I guess that's what love is. All right, then. Catch you later.